Peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. This message is for my Cancerians. Oh, death. I'm hearing death becomes her. Hmm, you may have seen that movie recently. Or heard about it. Or heard something to that effect. Okay. What message do you have for the Cancerians? Huh. Okay, Six of Wands is upside down. This is recognition. Hangman. Okay, showing up for you. Hmm. There's a King of Swords also popping up saying hey okay let's see about this hangman hmm. justice maybe a change for you oh i'm using a new deck uh cancer okay i'm using a new deck very uh <laughs> very different i'm not sure if i'll keep using them but uh, for now, it is what it is. <laughs> They're pretty big. Okay, tell me about this hangman. Okay, so what's what seems to be coming up for you? Okay, is matters of the heart matters of relationships is coming up for you cancer there are major changes in matters of relationship because you have the ten of cups showing up for you okay you have the ten of cups showing up for you and huh. this is This is what's that you what you may actually uh, have seen. I'm hearing that you know matters of relationship and matters of relationship. This is something that you may have had an inclination that there was going to be um, like this culmination of things coming together for you. This may have to do with a happy family situation. Perhaps there's some resolutions with a family circumstance, you know, matters relating to your home, your children, your loved ones, uh, someone that you have a serious commitment with. Perhaps you're even married to. This may be an energy regarding a spouse. And look what else is coming up for you. Temperance. Hmm, you are definitely um, hearing that what's coming up for you is in your energy is more of an energy of being balanced, things being balanced, things working out for you. Okay. Um, the temperance is also reminding you, huh, keeping your head above water. So the temperance, I'm hearing this song, it has to do with uh, you, you tend to be someone that's very much, you know, um, you go in depth, you analyze, you may even sometimes, you know, overanalyze a situation and by analyze, overanalyzing the situation, um, this may cause you to be in one element more than another this may cause you to be more in your you know more towards the emotional side and i'm hearing that spirit is asking you to be more grounded okay keeping your head above waters um yeah keep your try to you know you're you're a cancerian you know the depth is your <laughs> forte this is your territory the depth of the waters is your forte and i'm seeing here with this um full card here 
this is you also represented and being connected to the depth and what spirit is showing you is you know um you know this is what's coming towards you so in the near future you may be wanting to be a bit more balanced um you know you're someone again connected to a lot of the unseen you know unconscious things really deep deeply emotional type of person you may be a very deeply emotional person and spirit is asking you to be a bit more balanced when it comes to the emotional side um to be a bit more grounded to uh have that balance um there's also balance being represented in your in matters of the heart in your relationship so these are the things that's going coming up for you uh, in your near future uh, I want to get some more information about this about the temperance card that's showing up for you um, tell me about the temperance card okay so a lot is showing up for you in terms of balance uh, and the first thing coming out is a pentacles which is an earth energy uh, this is confirmation that spirit is letting you know, you know, what in terms of what you should be looking forward to, what will bring you uh, much more success and balance in what you're doing is being grounded. You know, you are very much, you know, of course, you're you're one of the deepest most you know spiritual signs there is connected to water energy the depth and spirit is asking you um to be in this you know grounded energy earth energy seven of pentacles may also relate to balance in in your work okay in what you are doing um eight of pentacles okay so you may be asked to, uh, you know, show some balance in terms of the work that you do. And this may mean that you, if you're used to focusing so much on work, uh, you know, that you focus on self. If it's vice versa, you focus on, you know, pleasures, you know, you may want to focus more on work. The energy is really about balance, balancing things out. Um, there's a high energy of wish fulfillment, you know, coming up for you. Like 10, 10 is very significant for many of you. 10, the number 10 could be significant. Uh, the number two definitely is significant for you, which is related to moon energy. Okay, so that would make sense. Um, yeah, the 10 of pentacles is showing up for you and the 10 of cups. Like uh, this is relationships. This is also the divine showing you balance in you know all aspects balance in your emotional side as well as you know uh non-emotional side okay again this this overarching theme i'm hearing is uh if you're used to really connecting on a deep level um try to remain a little bit more grounded this is going to um give you a sense of this is going to bring balance to your crown chakra to your third eye chakra it's going to be able to allow you to see things a little differently you're seeing things differently this is what i'm hearing uh in terms of what's coming up for you because this ten of cups and the ten of uh pentacles is showing up and i'm i'm really getting that you may be moving away from you know this really deep emotional side to being a little bit more again i'm hearing keeping your head above water yeah you're you're keeping your head above water so a slight change in perspective is what uh the divine is showing um you know in terms of what's coming towards you this is the balance that the divine is calling for you to have that will possibly bring you a change in perspective that will also enhance other aspects in your life, okay? Um, so this, you know, balancing the change in perspective is really going to bring forth new 
like insight new um and again you know although the temp uh, the pentacles is really fo focusing on abundance stability financial security i'm also feeling like um you know bringing again keeping your head above waters is going to bring you a new level of insight that's then going to allow you to have a more stable and secure um future okay so this is the energy that's coming towards you uh cancer this is beautiful confirmation <laughs> okay let's see what the divine is saying about this energy that's coming up for you um it's a great it's a beautiful energy okay ancestors give us the word mm, yes. okay stand in the light okay i don't know why i feel like this is what's coming up i feel like this is coming up this is what this is mm, okay confirmation this is what we're supposed to hear the vine wants you to stand in the light okay cancerians uh you're used to being in the depth going down in the depth below the sea okay again this is why keeping your head above waters came up um this is going to really bring you some balance and, and lead to some other great things coming your way, okay? This is really going to bring other great things your way. Um, so the divine is saying, don't avoid the spotlight. Try to hide or dull your light to appease another or your fears. Your divine light and beauty are meant to help others. And the only way that can occur is if you allow yourself to be and express it fully. Do not shrink from your magnificence when you feel challenged. Instead, step it up to an entirely new level of boldness. You have a gentle nature, but you are strong. If you have become obsessed with the beauty or power of another, it's time to come back to your own divine beauty and to unearth it. Explore it, express it, and let it shine. Trying to blend in will drain the energy from you. Let those who are attracted to your light adapt to your level of divine expression. You are the benchmark and they will evolve to reach you. So for some of you, what the divine is asking you to do in terms of, you know, finding your balance and, and being grounded, this may be like a new territory for you. And in fact, I'm hearing it, it is a new territory for you you know, to again, quote unquote, which is what I'm hearing from the divine, keeping your head above waters, okay? Uh, keeping a more grounded energy, keeping it light, um, you know, in terms of keeping it light, that basically means honoring your light in many different ways. Um, this is how you're going to find balance and this is how the good things that are gonna uh, that are coming towards you are also going to manifest, which is uh, this abundance energy, which is, you know, a lot of, um, you know, connections, your connections to others, how you relate to others. This also, um, you may see uh, a difference in, you know, uh, the reward that you receive from the divine as it relates to your financial abundance, stability, security. So all these things um, you're going to see a difference in once you balance your energies. And this is really, this is a great energy to be in, okay? So the divine is asking you to stand in your light. And for many of you, this light is represented in many different ways. And you finding the balance is going to bring in um, that abundance that's coming towards you. So this is the good things coming towards you, okay, Cancerians? All right, if this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and light.